On this episode of Nature in Your Face, we take you back to Costa Rica and highlight several of the amazing mammals we encountered on our rainforest adventure. Nature in your face! 240 mammals can be found in Costa Rica. That represents 6% of the world's entire mammal population. They can be found high in the tree canopy or moving across the forest floor. As we made our way to the jungle, it didn't take us long to find our first mammal, the white-nosed kawadi, or as we like to call it, the world's cutest trash panda. Not unlike its close relative, the raccoon, they can be found in urban areas, attracted to food scraps and garbage. These curious animals are omnivores and eat just about anything, including tarantulas. Their extraordinary sense of smell and flexible snout leads them to food which is often provided by locals as well as tourists. <laughs> Kawadis travel in groups of up to 25 animals and feeding one can quickly lead to a flash mob of squeaky scavengers. As entertaining as it is to see them eat, feeding wild animals can lead to unwanted interactions with humans. This group of coatis blocked traffic for several minutes and became aggressive as they fought over food. Oh, we got the fight. We'll get him. can hear that that's because there's no group of howler monkeys behind us and he's making their call right now and that's how they send out their signal that this is their territory their call can be heard for up to three miles three over miles. two miles easily up to three miles which is about as long as we just hiked yeah. to find these dang things we were out of breath yeah so i think what we're going to do is we're going to try to creep up on these things Get really close so we can get some awesome shots of them, but that's right. Hopefully, we'll get them right there, yeah. nice and close to you guys. <laughs> Continue to hear this now. Normally, they say there can be 15 to 20 in a group. We're gonna go find out how many are just over there. Listen, all right, <laughs> let's go. out of here and go to that hill you'll see them oh, perfect is it raining no but that's where we need to be it was on that hill the jungle was dense and it wasn't easy for us to move through the forest but we finally managed to get super close to the howler troop Watching them up close as they moved through the trees, foraging and interacting with one another was amazing. We soon found out that they were not as excited to see us. It just threw something. You see that? He's bombing us up here. He threw poop at me, look. Hey Dave, what happened? Miss. Dave, what happened? One of the howler monkeys is pretty upset that we're on his territory. He just, he's continuing to throw poop at us. <laughs> it hit my backpack, look at this. Oh my goodness. Disgusting, it didn't go in, it hit the side. I don't think I want to stand here anymore. Oh, it smells horrible, do you smell that? It's oh, gonna, I see it, that's yeah, gross. Yeah, yeah, the flies are all over. How am I gonna get that out of there? I don't know. You don't, you just leave the howling monkey poop. Yeah, no, they're, they're throwing it at us. It's look, an honor. It's the leaves. Look at this. Here, look at the leaf. Come here, zoom in on this. Where's it? Oh, look, look at this. Look at that. They're throwing their poop look, at us. Look, they are throwing their poop at us. There's already What? Oh, hello, hello. Oh, yeah. They're throwing their poop at us. And they. We 
finally had enough of the poop slinging monkeys, and it seemed they were becoming increasingly agitated by our presence, so we decided to move further away and observe them from a distance. So we've hiked up here now, we've gotten closer, and we're able to zoom in and get some epic shots. Dave got poop thrown at him when we hiked under the tree. It's on his backpack. That'll be in the clip there. Not going to be a fun hike home. It That's stinks. right. It stinks bad. Well, Dave, yeah. why are they calling again? Because I feel like I hear other yeah. monkeys. We've got some communication going on. And what these holler monkeys are doing is warning this troop that this is their territory and you don't get any closer, you're going to get punched in the face. Yeah, so you're not going to be able to hear, I don't think, but off in the distance when this guy goes, stops, then they start howling over there. And they're just letting each other know, that's your barrier. Stay where you're at. I don't know how well you can hear that, but in you the can, distance, yeah. you they're, can hear They're them. talking back. So that's the way they communicate, which is kind of crazy. It's like a one-word communication, but it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, minus the poop throwing, monkeys are pretty cool. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> As the sun began to set and the monkey settled down for the night, we packed up our gear and made our way out of the jungle. Not all mammals are as energetic as the coatis or the howler monkeys, and referring to this next mammal as a bump on a log is an understatement to say the least. Meet the world's slowest mammal, the sloth. This bizarre, arboreal animal is related to the armadillo and anteater, and looks like a cross between a teddy bear and Freddy Krueger. Sloths are so incredibly slow that their fur will turn green with algae, which in turn provides them with excellent camouflage. The fur also contains an entire ecosystem within and is loaded with fungi, mites, and moths. Rather than harming the sloths, these parasites form an important symbiotic relationship by making the sloths smell and taste terrible to many predators. The long claws are used for gripping branches, defending itself, and taking care of that occasional annoying itch. Their diet consists mainly of foliage, and it can take a week or more for them to digest their food. Sloths only descend to the ground once a week to eliminate waste, and it's at this time that they are most vulnerable to predation. Although practically helpless on the ground, they are surprisingly good swimmers and will take advantage of the floodwaters to move from one area to another. It took hours for us to capture the little activity and movement from the sloths, which was like watching a plant grow, but at the same time, it was pretty awesome to see any movement at all from an animal known to sleep up to 20 hours a day. Thanks for watching our Costa Rican Mammal Adventure. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. Let us know down in the comments if you'd rather have a howler monkey throw poop in your face, or have your eyeballs clawed out by a sloth. Dave, what do you choose? <laughs> I don't know, is there a third option? No. <laughs> <laughs>